Hello, this is MacHeads101. My name is Jake, and this is going to be your fourth Java GUI tutorial. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, in the Action Listener, which is going to give our GUI some functionality. Basically, the program we're going to be making is there's a text field, and it um, you enter your name in there, and then you click the button, and then a little window pops up, which um, has says hello plus the name you entered and that window is called a uh, J option pane it's like a not it's not like a J frame it's like a different kind of window that's just like a pop-up so we don't have to code all the stuff that we had to code for the J frame so we're gonna make this extend J frame and that's not at all how you spell extends there's no Y in extends we import java.awt.event and that allows us to use some event handling which is going to be in this case the action listener and implements action listener which and now we're getting an error here because this the this interface here action listener if you remember from the polymorphism tutorial about um, overriding methods well there's a method in here that has to be overwritten and that's called action performed and that's gonna allow us to do something um, when an event happens you'll if this is confusing you now um, you'll see once I start building the program so first I'm gonna make a private J label um, enter name because that's what it's gonna say because we're telling the user to enter their name in the text field below private J text field um, name because that's what's going to be in there private J button which is a button click so that's what we're going to do to it and private string store name and that will equal nothing right now and that's just going to um, store the name it's going to store the value of whatever is in this text field so yeah so public second make the constructor set layout null because we're going to use absolute positioning set size I'll make this 300 by 250 set default close operation so it can close when we press the X yeah and I'm not going to set a title um, so now enter a name equals new J label and I'll make it say enter your name button equals new J button I'll make it just say click and I don't know why I think I called a button I called it click <laughs> and um name equals new j text field and I'm not going to give that any default text alright so now we set the location we're going to use that set bounds method I went over in the last tutorial set bounds and I will make that 60 in 30 down uh, 120 large and, uh, and 30 tall name dot set bounds and that'll be 80 in 60 down 130 big and 30 tall and the button click that set bounds and it'll be a hundred in 190 down 60 by 30 All right now here's what I have to do click that add action listener and this is gonna give it that action listener so that we can do something when the buttons click and I'm just gonna write this which means this action listener the one that we implemented and so it's not actually gonna have an action listener until I override that method but um, yeah 
It's kind of hard to explain until you really see the whole thing. But now we have to add all our components. Add click. Add name. And add enter name. All right, so that's all for the constructor. And now the name of that method we have to override is public void action performed. And takes the parameter of action event B. Okay. And that's the name of the method. And see, we don't have the error there anymore. And here's where we're going to make it an if statement to basically mean if the button's clicked. So if e dot get source. E dot get source means the location of the event equals a uh, click. So if the location of the event is that click button. So in other words, if the button's clicked, do the following. So if the button's clicked, store name equals um, name dot get text. And what name dot get text is is it's a method that returns. Um, the value of whatever is in that J text field. So store name will then have the value of whatever is in that J text field. And that J option pane I was talking about. Dot, so J option pane dot show message dialog. And this is really simple. It's just like a pop up thing. Parent component. Don't worry about that right now. Just put null. And the message is hello plus. Um, what was the name of that? Store name. And here I'm going to put a system dot exit zero, which means close the program. So it's going to close the program after um, I click OK on this J option pane. OK. So now just second S equals new second S dot set visible true okay so what we did is we um, got our components here the label to tell you to enter your name uh, the text field where you enter your name and the button where you click and that string just stores the value is going to store the value of whatever is in um, the text field the add action listener this which means this action listener that we're implementing um, and this is the method for it. So when I add the action listener to this, um, it means that it's waiting for an event to happen. And if the event happens, it goes to this method. And it means, all right, so an event happens. So did that event happen at the button? Okay, it did. So now do this, which is store name equals whatever was in the text field. Little window pops up, says hello, whatever your name was, and then exits the program afterward. So now I'm going to run this. Here it is. Enter your name. I'll write Jake. I press click. Hello, Jake. That's the J option pane. And you can customize this message part and customize this image. Um, I might talk about that later. I'll see. But click OK. And then the program exits. And if I got rid of system.exit0, the program would not exit when I press it. I would have to exit out. So I'll say John. Hello, John. See, but I can exit out. So thank you for watching Mac Heads 101. Subscribe and goodbye.